Brad Ludden. I'm 29 years old. I'm a professional whitewater kayaker and then also uh, the founder and an employee of First Descents, which is a, an organization that provides free outdoor adventure therapy to young adults with cancer. I realized that kayaking was a really powerful vehicle and could actually be healing if given in the right way to the right person. After my aunt's diagnosis uh, with breast cancer as a young adult, I started teaching kids with cancer how to kayak. I was the only way I knew how to interact with them, the only thing I really knew to give them. Thatcher Bean, uh, I've been involved with First Ascent for about seven years. I was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma when I was nine years old, so I was pretty young. And then I did uh, six months of chemotherapy, big stomach surgery. Luckily, I'm completely in the clear now, healthy as can be, and uh, fortunate enough to be able to do things like kayaking. Thatcher's always been a pretty amazing kid. He came to camp and, um, I think even though he was really confident, he had a lot of volunteer experience under his belt, he was still living in a bit of a shell. And kayaking became an outlet for him to, to grow in, into himself again, to, to be confident again, to be, to be in control again. And by the end of that week, I knew that he wasn't done kayaking. And sure enough, seven years later, he leads me down a class five rapid. When we showed up and we heard that two people had, had just just died, um, that can rattle a lot of people emotionally, and I half expected Thatcher to just kind of say, you know, maybe today's not the day, and I, I would have honored that, I would have respected that. But then I remembered it's Thatcher, and um, kayaking for him has been an outlet to live, to go out and be a louder, crazier, more vibrant version of his, his old self before cancer. And, and uh, we call it the, the Lieutenant Dan moment, you know, where he's just, it's just him and God, and they're just screaming at each other in this huge storm. Something amazing about the sport is there's always something harder to run. You know, where I'm at, I'm kind of just scraping the surface of that. It gets your heart going, and it, uh, you know, it makes you feel alive for sure.